traces of uncured resin on the surface, so it goes in for three minutes. When removing it, I accidentally dropped it. It survived. Where the supports were on the bottom, they lift little nibbies. The sanding work is done in a tub of water. If I inhale some of the dust, I get a little allergic reaction and I start to itch everywhere. Zero itching happens when it's done in water. Three different grits of sandpaper is used to achieve the right surface. Usually there are teeny tiny little holes on the surface of the model. This time there was none of that, only little nibbies sticking out. For the really hard to reach areas, I use a little file. It's great for under the chin and even in between the tentacles. Just have to be really careful not to sand away any of the details that I put onto the model. If you decide to cast and mold this thing, you only have to do this once. Water takes a long time to dry, so I fill it up with isopropyl alcohol. I rinse out the inside real good. When it starts to dry, it looks very dusty. I use my airbrush to blow out the isopropyl alcohol inside and it came out amazing. Before I paint it, I'm just going to give it a day to dry. No colors were decided on yet. What colors do you think the squid should be? Does anybody else else thinks it looks like a chode. Eh, that's okay, I'm gonna paint it anyways. Make sure you're following, I hope the algorithm brings you back.